You ever walk away from one of these SCP videos thinking, man, I have so many questions about this SCP. There's a lot of them on some of the more famous ones, like 096, the one that we're going to check out today. This one's from SCP Explained. Make sure to head on over to their channel and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys, and if you like reaction videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel as well. Let's get into this animation. This video is about two things. Okay. The first is SCP-096. Right. Also known as the Shy Guy. Right. A horrific monster who murders anyone and anything unfortunate enough to look at its face. <laughs> Pretty rough. Directly or through photos yeah, yeah, or videos. Yeah. <laughs> the second is you. Because we asked you for your favorite questions, theories, and hypothetical oh, situations nice. involving 096. That's so awesome We that even they asked if you thought community. someone would be safe from 096 on the moon and you delivered. Okay. If you haven't watched our first video on the infamous Shy Guy, Didn't. we recommend checking that out first. All right, but we know about him. But feel free to stick him, around even if you haven't. Right. First of all, let's take a look at the questions you had about the SCP Foundation's most dangerous introvert okay. and see if we can't find some answers. All right. How close would you have to be to trigger it? Like, if it was five kilometers away, would it still count? Yep. The short answer is that 096's homicidal rage can be triggered from pretty much any distance. We'll get into some of the potentially crazy extents of this later on. Right. But if you see the shy guy's face while you're sharing a dimension with him, <laughs> you're in serious trouble. A dimension? People who okay, view the that's creature's a limitation face in different that I didn't know countries about. or even miles underwater mm -hmm. have met gruesome ends. Five kilometers would right? definitely not keep you safe. <laughs> what were his origins and how strong is he compared to SCP-682? Well, the origins of SCP-096 are question. still shrouded in mystery. All we know for sure is that he was discovered by the Foundation in a snowy mountainous region. Right. As for physical durability, He's about even with 682 as both survived their encounter. Wow. We know 682 has the psychological advantage though, yeah. as 096 has been terrified of the lizard ever since they met <laughs> in cross-testing. 682 However, is you could crazy argue that strong, 096 man. is technically more dangerous, since unlike 682, 096 has never been pacified before killing its intended target while on a rampage. Uh. If he goes into an unstoppable attack mode when someone sees his face, Shouldn't you not show his face in the thumbnail? <laughs> Thankfully, according to the official documents, artistic representations like paintings or digitally drawn YouTube thumbnails have no effect. Right. Only actual photographs or videos of the creature can be deadly. So you're safe. Thanks. Unless we decide to do a 096 <laughs> face reveal to celebrate our next 100,000 oh, no. subscribers, of course. Don't do it. This leads us to our next question. <laughs> if it attacks you when you look at it, then how did the scientist draw the picture of the thing without looking at right. it? Right. That's a good question. And also one that occurred to the Foundation scientists okay. who came up with an extremely elaborate solution. All right. They put a D-class tattoo artist inside a diving bell miles underwater and had him unseal a photograph of the creature before drawing that a copy. That was the story this that I reacted to. This copy was then released from the diving bell in a sealed container before 096 inevitably got to the poor d -class. It took him a little while, Does the though. shy guy have to be viewed through a good quality image to enter a rage state? Unfortunately, no. Oh, no. Even the most poorly rendered or <laughs> minuscule image of 096's face That's is rough. a death sentence. You don't even know what you're One looking at. One of the most at. infamous incidents Dang. resulted from a man seeing a small dot that was only a few pixels wide in a photo from an old ski Are trip. you kidding me? The dot me? was 096, taken from a mile away. No true image of 096 oh. is safe, regardless of size. In some canons, <laughs> despite 096 being referred to as indestructible, the Foundation managed to terminate it after many attempts and even more bureaucracy. Okay. How did they do it? While well, a lot of 096's body has been blown away by conventional arms fire, its hyper-tough skeleton is what has given it such an indestructible reputation. Uh, In one tale, though, Foundation researchers actually used this to their advantage okay. and employed the use of the neck-snapping killer sculpture SCP-173. After using 173 to damage 096's bones, powerful acid was injected into the skeleton, wow. destroying it from within. Okay. Though of course, this isn't the official ending of the 096 right. story, that was because just the SCP Foundation doesn't cannons have a single too. unifying canon. Right. That's enough questions. 
Now it's time for you to school us. The big one. Let's look at some of your favorite theories about the Shy Guy. The hypothetical. Starting okay, with. cool. I sometimes like to imagine that 096 is nice, but he can't control when someone sees him, and after he kills the person, he starts to cry because he didn't want to kill right. them. Right, it's there like There is actually an some urge, evidence right? to suggest that SCP-096 might not want to kill. A great huh. example of this is its cross-test with SCP-978 a camera which reveals the deepest desires of whoever or oh. whatever is in its photos. The photo it took of 096 showed Never that it had completely that's disappeared that's from the photo, huh. showing its deepest desire was to just be invisible be and seen. unseen. Maybe it wants to disappear because it doesn't want to hurt anybody. Interesting. Regarding the moon question, I think SCP-096 would probably stay in that hostile state until you came back, at which, which point it would probably rip, rip you to shreds, shreds and do whatever it does, it does to your <laughs> mutilated corpse. Based on what we know about prior 096 incidents, this feels incredibly likely. Yeah. It's also possible that it might enter its docile state right. before becoming aggressive again when you return to and its And just kind of rock and You really hold its don't knees, want to you know? find out either way. He can just jump to the moon easy. He does squats and containment all the time. <laughs> well, its scrawny physique doesn't make it seem like 096 understands the concept of exercise. Yeah. There aren't any cameras in 096's cell. Right, so of course not. So technically, we can't prove it isn't doing squats to pass the time in there. <laughs> I really doubt a blind person would be safe from his effect, since 096 has the IQ of a newborn baby. Uh. I think he will count it as looking at him. This huh. is an interesting theory. However, seeing as 096 is able to sense when people see its face from entire right. continents away, the way Anywhere. it knows if you can see its face might be a little more psychic in nature. Therefore, okay. it's probable that Makes it wouldn't sense. mistakenly kill someone who hasn't actually seen its face. Well, why does Such a psychic a thing have a limitation for dimension? To deal with him, in my opinion, simply freeze him, either in space or in the mountains. His body shuts down and when looked at it, it will not react correctly. Uh. It is simply asleep. While we don't know how SCP-096 would react to a zero-G environment, right. for a creature that's always nude, it seems extremely tolerant to the cold. When <laughs> yeah. it was first found, it was, it was lurking found in, in the icy ice. mountains, mm -hmm. and a Foundation agent commented on the fact it wasn't even shivering, right. despite the incredibly low temperatures. Literally. <laughs> but who knows if there's a temperature out there that's too low even for the shy guy. I mean, if someone looks at it in China and it's in the cold. US, then you get on its back, you'll get a free piggyback ride to China. That's it's a free true. Trip to China, and all it costs is a human life. Good luck That's holding on. Technically, it'd be at the cost of two human lives, <laughs> yeah. unless you wore a diving suit with plenty of oxygen. Oh, that's 096 true. has proven to be an well. extremely proficient swimmer, mm -hmm. but you'd have to maintain your grip across the entire <laughs> Pacific Ocean while it journeys to China. In Not other gonna words, happen. it's technically possible. Right. But we here at SCP Explained would rather pay for the round trip flight. <laughs> to each right. their own, though. <laughs> but that's enough theories for now. Take Let's an move on to the main or a boat event. Or a bus Hypotheticals. Or you pose some great possible scenarios involving SCP-096, mm -hmm. so we're going to see if we can find the answers. All right. What would happen if someone looked at a picture of it while in or before entering another SCP's pocket dimension mm -hmm. or mirror dimension? There aren't any canon examples to prove either way. The other dimensions if there's are any kind of consistent now. entry point into this dimension, it's likely that 096 would find a way to follow you Wow. In. If not, it's very possible that it may just, just wait. wait for you to eventually <laughs> return before Come on bringing out. the metaphorical hammer down on you. <laughs> so technically, if you were pulled into the old man's pocket dimension yeah. and you closed the portal, you'd be safe from 096. But then you've got a whole other problem to deal with. Right, it's What true. happens if a person sees his face then gets their memory of the creature wiped? Considering how good the Foundation huh. seems to be at wiping people's memories the and their are access good. to amnestics, if this Class worked, eight? they probably Strong, would have made it baby. standard procedure by now, uh -huh. so it's unlikely. What yeah. happens if a person looked at it and that person then went on a plane? Or just staying in the air or space, what would it do? It would find 096 it. has shown the ability to jump up and destroy low-flying aircraft. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, it's likely that the creature would probably run to a point directly below you and remain there until you touch back down. Wow. Since you'll need food and water at some point, and uh -huh. aircrafts need and fuel, fuel, you'd probably just be prolonging the inevitable. <laughs> what if the young girl was around it, so it tried to attack her, but died trying? This is another interesting possibility. That is SCP-053 is a girl capable of causing homicidal urges. Yeah. It causes fatal heart attacks in those who attack her. Yeah. While we can't know for sure how a meeting between 096 and 053 would go, 
We can use her encounter with 682 as a potential template. She had Aggressive a SCPs like the hard to kill reptile, perhaps having an innate knowledge of the danger that comes from attacking 053, tend to become strangely docile. Around right. Her. It's possible that 096 would do the same. Uh, would possibly. we be able to control SCP-096 with the help of SCP-035? The possessive mask, 035 aka the mask. SCP-035, yeah. is undeniably a lot more intelligent than 096, yeah, so what and has even been going? shown to respond to reason on occasion. Uh -huh. It's also been able to control almost every other entity it's been placed on. Right. The problem is... If the mask was placed on 096 and it was somehow <laughs> effective, the result may be even more dangerous than 096, huh. an intelligent monster with an indestructible and highly dangerous body. What? There's no telling whether 035 would slowly break down 096 into sludge the way it does to humans, in which case we would be left with an immortal 096-035 combo. Wow. So maybe it's best that we never find Dude, it. hybrid SCPs would be If someone were to be scary. in the infinite Ikea and looked at a picture of its face, could it finally be contained? And if someone else looked at a picture of it outside oh. of the infinite Ikea, could it escape and kill them? If so, how long would it take it? This oh. is a great question. And while the infinite Ikea is a terrifying maze, yeah. SCP-096 has an advantage here that we don't. Okay. Not only can it rip through anything in the way with its super strength, it has an innate sense of where its victim is. Uh, Therefore, so has regardless of whether so you're inside out. or out, SCP-096 will still come straight to you to exact your horrible fate. Right. But at least you can enjoy the meatballs while you wait. <laughs> it's right? true. And finally, <laughs> what would happen if 096 were led into a room full of mirrors and allowed or made to look at its own face? Didn't they test this before? Would it smash before? the mirrors or try to rip itself to pieces? This is still a hotly debated issue to this day, which, thanks to the no-canon nature of the SCP Foundation, does not have a definitive answer. Okay. Some theorize yeah. that this would at least be an effective deterrent against SCP-096, while others suggest that it wouldn't be effective, because many believe that 096 is actually blind and thus cannot see its ah, own face. That would it can only sense the when other people that they see it. About Again, we don't quite know it. for sure, yeah. but it's likely to remain one of the most contentious issues around the Shy Guy for a long time right. to come. And there you have it, folks. Huh. Our very first questions and theories video. We loved hearing very what you cool. had to say. Very so cool. keep an eye on our community post for the next one. Are there other SCPs you'd like to see us cover in explained or theory videos? Yes. Let us know in the comments. And subscribe to SCP Explained and turn on notifications for new SCP this videos. This was a really, every really cool video, week. guys. I really like this. The uh, the the all of the questions that the community submitted is a lot of the questions that we've probably all had that I know that I've had about certain instances. Most of the time when I walk away from some of these animations, I have these questions in my head about the SCPs that I just talked about or discovered. And I rather discover more information through video instead of just doing wiki research because I get to react to it with you guys. I love this one, you guys. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it as well. Make sure to check out SCP Explained right there, as well as a couple other SCP Explained videos that I reacted to. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ogin signing off. We'll see you next time.